Now, wearing the traditional Muslim niqab or a burqa could now find you on the wrong side of the law. MPs from the Swiss region of Ticino have voted in favour of fining people for wearing such garments. Here's how they justified the move. Those who rebuff our values and aim to build a parallel society based on religious laws and want to place it over our society are not welcome. The maximum sum you could be fined for doing so is €9,200. No exceptions will be made for tourists. Although other forms of face coverings, such as masks, balaclavas and crash helmets, will still be permitted. Algerian businessman and political activist Rashid Nakaz says that he will pay the fines for Muslim women. I'm against this ban on the streets because this is one of the universal freedoms. I informed deputies in France, Belgium, Holland and Switzerland that if they were going to vote for the ban on wearing niqab on the streets, I would be there to neutralize this law in a peaceful manner. I would simply pay the fines myself. Now I am very happy to be the only citizen who was able to neutralize this law in four countries. I am very proud to have been able to neutralize this law, which was created with one single purpose, to win the elections. I won't let anyone stigmatize and discriminate against Muslim women to win the elections. Rashid Nikaz has been paying such fines for women in other European countries. For example, he spent almost 200,000 euros paying over 1,300 fines in France. He's paid around 250 times in Belgium and also a couple in the Netherlands. And Rashid says he's happy to keep on paying. Thanks to the fact that Switzerland has imposed very high fines, I can one more time address the European Court of Human Rights. I am 100% sure that the court in Strasbourg will condemn the decision of the Swiss Parliament because such fine is excessive. They didn't condemn the similar law in France because the fine in France is 150 euro. But this time challenging the law in Switzerland will be much easier.